All right, what's going on? I'm back with another replay cast. This is going to be me playing as Kislev again. So this is the the faction that I'm learning recently, and I'm facing the Skaven. And the one thing I remember about the Skaven from playing as the Ogre Kingdoms when I was learning them is that the Skaven are usually going to have a lot of shooting, and that could be mortars, it could be artillery. But that's one of the main things that I was looking to prepare for. So I wanted to have uh, frontline units that have um, good armor and shields. So I brought standard Zarguard. And then I brought uh, Kosars. So I got four of each of those. Four Zarguard, four Kosars. Got a squad of Winged Lancers along with an Ice Witch. And I've got Kosvite Dervishes on either flank. And part of the reason I deployed like this was I wanted some tree cover. I wasn't sure how the opponent was going to move and I didn't want to just charge towards the middle and get torn apart by by range fire. So that was sort of what I was what I was thinking as I set up here. So my opponent has got let's see one two two clan rats with shields. Um one two he's got a mix of clan rats with shields and skaven slaves. On the front line, Warp, Warplock Gisales, Clan Vulcan Tail Slashers. What's, so these guys are, they have fire resistance. Looks like they have some extra abilities that some of the other... Actually, maybe I just don't know the Skaven roster. So it looks like the Skaven have some kind of little abilities on um, most of their standard units. Poison Wind Globadiers, this is a unit that I know is, is pretty good at taking out infantry. They have armor piercing. Um, warp block, more warp block Gisales. He's got some here. Looks like he's got three squads of them. This is the Regiments of Renown version. And Death Globe Mortars. Where is his Lord? Am I missing something? Oh, okay. No. Maybe you didn't bring one in the beginning. I guess maybe you don't have to bring one in the beginning. I could have sworn that you need to either bring a lord or a hero in your first stack, but maybe not. Anyways, I'll, I'll put up to normal speed and we'll just get this going. So, what I did here was I started sending my troops off to either flank. And part of my thought process was if I go to the middle, they're going to have a good line of, uh, line of sight for their range units. And so I'll go fight on, on either wing and see if I can hold the victory points that way. I sent my cavalry all to congregate in the woods. And if I'm recalling this match correctly, what I ended up doing was sending cavalry up the middle while the infantry were moving out on the flanks. They've got rat ogres coming in on their right flank, our left. And I've not brought in any reinforcements yet. Again, that's one of those things that I, I have room to work on is using up my supplies in a timely manner and checking out what my opponent's got, bringing troops in. So let's see, I brought two more things to cost by dervishes. Right, so this is where I was going for my little cavalry rush up the middle. So if I hold the space bar, you can see I've got move commands, Zargard to go up the front, spears go up the uh, behind them and reinforce. He's got troops coming through the uh, woods as well. So he's going for all three points. And he went pretty wide here, so he's got a lot of different troops. And here I'm charging out, so I definitely should not have sent my Ice Queen up front. She just got shot so much by those Warplock Gisales. You can see I, I issue some uh, shift commands for her to run around and zigzag. Probably not a good idea for me to clump up like this, given the amount of firepower they have there, but Luckily I didn't get punished too bad for it. They hadn't fully set up and started shooting. But I was looking to get a surround on these guys. And uh, lucky for me, they don't have any any spear guys over here right now. They do have rat ogres. But um, got a pretty good surround. I wanted to shut down the warp lock Gisales and the, and the Globadiers. So mostly cost by dervishes. I got a couple uh, or one squad of the wing Hussars, and then my my ice queen is in the background. Over here, same kind of um, situation as on the left side. They got spears on the front, Gisales and Globadiers in the back, and they're just going to shoot into me and 
and um, try to hold me off with the clan rats. I've got my lord in here, and I still have not seen someone from them, a lord from them. Bringing in some, uh, what are these guys called? The Oath Brothers of Tor, War Bear Riders. They're the Regiment of Renown version. And they've got this uh, this Call of Tor ability. It's a bombardment that takes place around them. I found that that ability can be a little bit clunky depending on how the engagement goes because as you have the unit selected, if you have this ability um, queued up, there will be a circle around one of the units. I believe it centers around one of the models within the uh, whole squad. And sometimes it'll end up casting, say like on this guy, and it misses some of the blob. But I forget if I remember to use it here. Chase them off on this side. Clan rats are not going to stand up to Zargard. Um, but on this side, my my Zargard had been pretty pretty well destroyed by the Globadiers and the Warplock Gazales. And so by the time they got up to fight with the clan rats, they were they were not doing well on uh, model count, health, morale. So I charged in my Cossars to help support them. But that that. Um, Part of the map is basically a foregone conclusion. Over here on the left flank, luckily I pushed him off, but I'm pretty far behind on the value trading. I'm a thousand behind on the value trading. But I've got him on the run here, and I'm getting some good shots off and, and chasing some of these higher value units. Ideally, right here, I'm issuing attack commands and getting moving earlier. I'm taking a lot of punishment here because I'm not paying attention to these units. Um, especially the Zargard. The Cossars are shooting into here, trying to put some damage on the Rat Ogres because they're lightly armored. But outside of that, a lot of room for improvement. I I probably should have pulled out sooner here. You can see he brought in Eshin Triads and more Clan Rats with, uh, with Spears. And I lost a lot of cavalry. I mean, you can see on the ground the amount of uh, dead models, especially on this side. A lot of caused by Dervishes went down over here. And it's not a coincidence that there's just a big blob of rats of spears. <clears throat> but pretty interesting engagement. This has been a pretty non-standard match for me so far. Fighting on the flanks and then having the cavalry engagement in the middle. Um, just unfolding a little differently. Now, he brought in Death Deathmaster Snickich. And this guy's got armor piercing. He's pretty quick. And... Um, and he's also hard to notice because he has the stalk ability. So... I believe that makes it so that he can, yeah, he can he can move hidden in any terrain. So I was trying to get my Ice Queen away from him. Luckily, she's on a horse, and oh my God, he just got punted by my my war bears. But that was not a good situation for her. And this is one of those things where understanding unit roster can be pretty important. You see, I get I got crushed on the uh, right side, left side. I'm still fighting for, but understanding unit roster and even little things like noticing the icons on the flags here. So when I saw this originally, I was not aware that this was a, a Lord. I thought that this was like a, a dual weapons squad of rats while it was in this big jumble. And he was just, just wrecking my Ice Witch. But anyways, I brought some armored Cossars in here. I figured I could shoot down on the uh, clan rats. I wanted to get shots off on the Eshin Triad because those guys are lightly armored. They don't have shields. And they were one of the big damage dealers that he had. But since he's got this right side security, he's uh, brought his warp lock Gisales off to the side and is shooting down this uh, shooting down this alley on the cliff face into my armored Cossars. So what I did in turn was I brought in some Cossified Dervishes. I already had some Zargar on the way to help support these guys. And originally I was going to send the Cossified Dervishes around this way to attack these uh, Poison Wing Globadiers, but they were already pretty well beat up and I figured it was... It was um, worth me just sacrificing these guys and getting on top of the work block Giselle to shut them down and give me some time to take this middle point. So I'm ahead on the on the uh, victory points. Still a little bit behind on the value trading, but not so bad. I am getting chased up on the left side. I forgot about my Ice Queen over here. Of course, as soon as I say that, I reissue a move command for her. And then I had my uh, Snow Leopard going after their Rat Ogres. My War Bears got chased off. Zargard got chased off. And if I'm recalling correctly, I did not notice that these guys were here, these Death Runners. I had these Dervishes running around to help support my Ice Queen. And you can see I have a, a move command issue for them and they run right into these guys. I'm not sure if he knew my, my Dervishes were coming around the corner, but that's an engagement that I believe these guys are going to lose. And actually, yeah, they're going to lose it pretty handily. 
I'm using uh, Death Frost on Deathmaster Snickich, and I went to run there, but he used the Deathmaster Sigil, which again, just one of those things that I'm gonna have to learn, you know, heroes and lords and the abilities and whatnot, because I didn't know that he had a snare that he could trap my lord. So I, I thought that I could kind of, you know, skirt around distance from him, cast spells and do some more damage to him, and then flee. And he trapped me and finished me off there with his lord. So. He's capturing the side objective. The middle I've got secured. I got Zargard coming to reinforce over here. And then on the right hand side, you can see my Cosify Dervishes did a decent amount of damage. I've got two more squads coming in. And really what I'm trying to do here is stay away from these clan rats. So unfortunately, since these guys were clumped on top of each other, they ended up running into each other. But I was kind of right clicking along the side there trying to avoid these guys with, uh, with both squads. With, with at least one squad. These guys were already committed to the Poison Wind Globadiers, but I got this charge off on the um, on the Warplock Gisales. So that was pretty good, shut them down. That's a high value shooting unit, big damage dealers. Got more troops coming in. And at this point, he is starting to get a little bit ahead on the, on the uh, victory points. He's got the left and the right side, I've got the middle, and he's starting to collapse on the middle as I'm trying to fight him off on the right. You can see I'm about a thousand behind on value trading, so not bad. And we're both pretty low on supplies. The only problem right here is that I only have four units left and he has 14 on the map, down to 13 at this point. But uh, me fighting for territory is gonna be difficult when I'm on a low unit count like that. So I brought him some more dervishes. And what I was thinking was, all I gotta do here is take, take good trades don't get caught out too too bad. Don't take too um, any any like harsh value trades, and try to eliminate his damage dealing units, which is a lot of his range units, and um, and use my speed with my dervishes to capture some of these points. Now he's got a squad of death runners coming off this side. I did not see them coming because they have this uh, this stalk ability. So I brought another group of dervishes, and again I'm, I'm using these guys. Rear charge here to, to crush the uh, clan rat spears and get them to flee off. Again, normally you don't want to charge in spears, but I saw that they were low model count somewhat. They were low health and morale. And so I figured one charge on the back would, would uh, you know, get them running. And I didn't really lose much of any health on these dervishes from that rear charge. These guys going around trying to dodge these uh, clan rats with, with um, shields while the Globadiers are shooting, taking a bit of damage, but just trying to stay skirting around these clan rats and around their um, angle of fire. And then eventually I just charge in them, figuring I might as well just try to lock them down. This is not the best engagement for me, probably having a whole squad of armored Kossars just on their Lord, especially since he's got armor piercing and you know he's, he's decent in melee combat. I mean, look at that, 70 melee attack, 50 melee defense, it's pretty high stats. And then I've got um, some more crossfire dervishes charging in off of this side. At this point, I realized that I was not gonna be able to take this this flank, especially he's got um, he's got clan rats with rat ogre supporting. Although these are not the spear variant, with the rat ogre supporting, they're gonna have pretty, pretty brutal damage output, and my uh, cavalry are just not equipped to deal with that. I am getting him lower on the unit count though. He's down to 10 and I'm, I'm still at five. He's still a pretty good amount ahead on the value trading, but I'm not too far behind on victory points. And I was thinking I still have I still have my cost by dervishes I can keep bringing in for pretty cheap. Unfortunately for me, he had his, um, his uh, death runners hiding off on this side, again with the stalk passive. And when I brought my Streltsy in to try to get some, some good range shots off, he, he caught them off guard with those death runners, and I had a counter charge with my winged lancers. So I did bring in my higher tier cavalry. And then of course, he was able to then bring in support with the Essen Triad. So I ran my, my winged lancers back off of there. I backed out because I figured even if I deal decent damage on these guys, they're already pretty solid in, in uh, melee combat. So my winged lancers aren't gonna fare too well. And once these Essen Triads get in, I'm gonna be in big trouble. The value trading is closing though. And I've got another group of costars coming in. Again, these guys are somewhat low armor, only 20 armor, so they are susceptible to even this non-armor piercing uh, missile damage from my standard costars. 
And here they come. Man, they are moving fast. Look at that. 49 speed. I didn't realize that they had that much speed. So I charged in there. I figured my guys are axe infantry. Uh, probably would have been good for me to get a, another round of shots off before I did that, but then I went forward. A little bit of indecision here for me with the winged lancers. I tried to charge in and get around onto these poison wing globadiers, but when all the firing started coming in and this group of rat ogres arrived, I decided to run and to bring them back around and join my cost by dervishes and charging this group of death runners. But once the uh, cost by dervishes hit them and I realized how much damage that they dealt, I ended up turning them back and going back after these globadiers. I'm not sure if that was the right move, but um, I figured anything that I could do to try to shut down some of that shooting would be good. Again, the right flank, he still got secured. You know, clan rats, rat ogres, poison wing globadiers. Left side, he doesn't need to pay attention to because he had just charged out of here with these uh, Eshin triads and with the death runners that I just was able to scare off. But getting close to winning on victory points, although he's down to nine units, he's got a lot of supplies. So he can kind of just sit and watch what I bring in for my reinforcements and then counter that. And uh, at this point, I kind of lost track of the victory points. I was just trying to fight. Um, fight my way towards the middle, but I think I conceded there once I paid attention to the victory points and realized that there was no point of, in me uh, playing it out, that I was going to lose regardless. So well played to my opponent, uh, definitely got me there. My, my strategy of going off on both flanks and trying to fight for those didn't work out too well. I think that it was, I think that more of the problem was my unit composition. I think I was onto something, uh, fighting away from where the artillery were probably going to be most effective, but I think I probably could have brought less Zargard and maybe more ranged firepower, uh, maybe more cavalry as well, because I didn't feel like I had a lot of problem with his spear units, his anti-large, and better micro on my lord definitely would have been huge. If I could, if I had kept her alive and gotten more death frosts off on their lords, I think that would have been good. And like I was saying, you see my Zargar did not perform well. So I spent a lot of money on these guys, and they just got chewed up by bombarding units. And although someone's going to have to soak up the firepower, you don't want it to be an elite unit like this. These guys, I mean, I'm calling them elite. They, they cost a 1000 so I guess that's where I would consider you start calling a unit elite. But again, I probably could have put this into more armored Cossars or something different. My, you can, and look, you can see my... Cost by Dervishes and my Winged Lancers all did pretty good. Cossars did not do great. Basically all my foot troops did pretty bad. <laughs> as far as my as far as my main force. My my bear riders didn't do great. Probably because of the situation that I sent them into. I didn't end up using Lilligrom. Streltsy, that was a misplay on my part. I brought them into an area where they were undefended. They got caught out by a stalking unit. Snow Leopard, not too much to see. Again, a lot of value on the Dervishes. These guys didn't do great. And then for my opponent, let's see, pretty good. Pretty good value on these on these um, Sharpshooters, these Warp Lock Gisales. These guys got shut down pretty early. I, gotta, I think this is a squad that I got to charge off in the middle at the beginning. But look at this value. I mean, 2,900, 1,800, so. I can't do quick math, but that's like 5,000 value between the three of these guys. Excuse me, almost. Not too special in the clan rats. And so, yeah, he did not have a... He did not have a lord in his... Or a hero in his main army, so I wasn't missing something. At first I was thinking maybe that from the replay being from my perspective, it wouldn't show that. But I think when you do replays, it shows everything, even hidden units and whatnot. So his, his death master did... Did decent. I mean, maybe not worth his value. I'm not sure how much he costs. Death Runner's got a lot. Eshin Triad's got a lot. The Triad's mostly probably got their damage off when they were fighting in the middle and, and got involved in that big cavalry blob I had during the kind of initiation of the combat. And then these guys, I think, got a lot of their value from from killing off my Strelsi. Rat Ogres, this squad did de decent, these guys. And these guys, I mean... This might have been a resummon, but I'm not 100% sure on that. More huge damage from Poison Wind Globadiers. So he had five squads of Globadiers during that, and they all were crushing me. So that's, again, that's a sign that I needed more cavalry. I needed more mobile um, 
resolutions to that. Anyways, good game to my opponent, and I will see you on the next replay.